Why you dey buy it? Yeah? Take product, yeah. Make you dey careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. My original. You should know where to go. The SOM. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It's a very important material that developers of structures cannot do without. The reinforcement steel is used to enhance the bond with the concrete of a building or bridge. Did you know that it's dangerous to compromise on the quality of steel bar in any way? We will tell you why, even as the Standard Organization of Nigeria strengthens collaboration with security agencies like the police to check the distribution of manufacture and substandard products in Nigeria. A warm welcome to Standard and You, Nigeria's flagship program on product safety and quality, brought to you Mondays at 6.30 p.m. on this station. I want a situation where in the future, when you see a son person, either in your market or in your shop or on the street, you bring him close to you and say, Walk him, come, be here, let's talk. Because it's your brother, it's your friend. But I cannot be your brother if you don't know I'm interested in protecting you. Like they say, on your way, son, with Rando. <laughs> Welcome to the world of standard and quality, where we offer you information on product safety and quality. The program is Standard and You. Choose live and leave. Buy original. Be original. S O N. Thanks for watching Standard and You. My name is Ife Yuwa Okonkwo. When was the last time you purchased an iron rod or steel bar? Are you aware that the Standards Organization of Nigeria has issued a three-month grace period to manufacturers of the reinforcement bar to adhere to the prescribed standard of the product or be dealt with? I'm sure you're already itching to know why. Sit back, relax, as we tell you all you need to know about this important product. These are rubbles at the site of a collapsed building. Whenever this kind of accident occurs, valuables worth millions of naira and human lives are often destroyed. They say it. After he did that uh, decay, they already take blocks and keep blocks that can, that weight cannot take the lot of that blocks. So before you know, that night, that building start sinking and go down. More often than not, Experts as well as regulatory agencies have in most cases identified the cause or causes of these unfortunate incidents to include substandard iron rod and other building materials. Our focus in this report is on the reinforcement bar, an important product used in reinforced concrete and masonry structures to strengthen and hold the concrete in tension. We have three types of steel bars in the market presently. We have the imported ones, we also have the locally made ones, and then we even have the ones that are totally substandard. For the imported ones, so far, from uh, recent research, I think most of the imported ones have started producing locally. But we still have some they import from Russia and Switzerland and the rest of that. And the reason why they normally go for the imported ones are because these ones have high tensile steel, which is recommended by the British standard and also the American standard. So an average steel bar should not be anything less than 450 Newton per millimeter square. Anything less than that, it's substandard. And in the market today, you find a lot of them fall short of that numbers. And so it's an headache. The production of the steel bar is a multi-million naira investment that requires great expertise and technology and has immense potential for job and wealth creation. So it's my job, my responsibility to help you compete properly in the market. Because I'm a Nigerian government employee. 
My job is to make sure your companies, your business survive. Because when your business survives, you employ Nigerians, you pay taxes. When you pay taxes, the country makes more money. The country is trying to make sure we don't depend too much on oil. So our next point of call, apart from agriculture, is the industry. So it's my job to make sure the industry is protected. You work with me, I work with you. You work against the country, then I work against you. I'm not interested in monetary gains for personally for me. It doesn't help me, it doesn't change anything in my life. At this stage in my life right now, I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested in is for you to come to me and ask me how we can, tell me how I can make your industry more competitive, much better. How we can get these standards achieved without losing business in the market. There are quite a number of operators spread across the geopolitical zones of the country. The bulk of these producers are situated in the southwest of Nigeria, especially in Lagos and Ogun states. We visit this factory every quarter. And in that visit, it's a formal visit. So we have to write and inform them. Anytime you write and inform them you are coming, you go there, you pick sample. The sample will fulfill all the requirements of the standard. But when you go to market to buy, what you get in the market is different. Meaning, whatever things we are seeing in the market, whatever activity that led to that is a conscious activity. And we have to checkmate that. That is the essence. Now we are taking the fight to the distributor telling them that they have to take responsibility for buying substandard products from a manufacturer. According to a recent investigation by the SON, more than 90% of manufacturers of reinforcement bar in the country churn out substandard steel bars. Cut the diameter and then the length. These are places where they should change our people. The person that bought the iron has already been changed. And if you are talking of uh, terms of the strength, once that uh, strength, 420, 520, the tensile strength and uh, are not met. The iron, iron is no longer iron, it's ordinary sand. Once you buy it and you use it, you need to building collapse, bridges collapse, a lot of things. Once the life is gone, all other things no, does not even matter again. The reinforcement of steel and concrete enables the structure to be balanced. So if we don't get it right at that point, there is a big problem. And right now, if you go to the market and you go to the industry, you see a lot of substandard st steel bars. A practice which the Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria seriously frowned at. We are going to start not only charging fees, we are going to start prosecuting. That means actually going to court for people who default. Because we are dealing with people's lives. Every day a building collapses. He was emphatic when he gave manufacturers of steel bars in Nigeria a grace period of three months to withdraw the bad products from the market. We can't spoil the image of our country, destroy the image of our industry. Because if everything Nigerian is suspect, that means all Nigerians are suspected. You may be an Indian, but if you come to Nigeria and build a factory, or a Chinese person, you build a factory, you are as good as a Nigerian because now you come to our country and you are providing services, jobs, and taxes. It's our job to protect you. But if you come in and sabotage the system, then you become the enemy of the nation because they are destroying our, uh, our base, our industrial bases. No Chinese company or Indian company or Filipino company or Arab company will go to their country and build those things. You do that in your country, you know there's penalty to pay. You know you're going to be locked up. You know you're going to be in trouble. In some countries, people actually get executed for economic crimes. We don't have to mention the countries. So some of us Nigerians who are participating and encouraging this kind of thing to happen to our industry, they should remember what they are doing is they are destroying our country. They are destroying the future of our children. While some producers are notorious for violation of the law, there are reputable investors with penchant for quality and safety. Federated Steel Mills Limited in Ota, Ogun State, is one of such patriotic producers. If you are producing for a particular customer, you can actually decide to put 
the customer's name directly into our results so that once the customer is coming to collect his material, this certificate of conformity will actually go with the batches that he has actually purchased from us. Don't look for short-term gain. Go for long-term establishment of the product. Strongly believe sooner things will be comes into the place and people will understand that we have to follow the standard that is the only way out to survive in longer time businesses. According to the SON, the few upright operators like owners of this factory have been consistent and known for producing quality steel bars in line with the Nigerian industrial standard. On top of the electromagnet, the iron scraps are picked and they are thrown into the furnace. And as you can see, the melting is actually taking place there. So once it is melted, and they have actually put the capacity that is required for the furnace. They have to homogenize by agitating. Agitate, and then a sample is going to be drawn out from in there. That sample is a representation of what is inside. So they bring in a sample, and then we have to test the samples to see what is actual content or what is the composition of the material. Once it is done, and once the check has been approved, then the material is okay. But for most times, they need to treat. This is where we have 100% assurance that what we are sending out as state of the art and conform with all the required standards. This is the tensile strength machine. It's an automated one. This is where we test the strength of the material. We actually elongate it, pull it, and see how much it will withstand before it breaks. If it's okay, there's a standard to which we aim for. And when once we test and we are sure that it is what we have, that is when the full production will actually take place. If it fails our analysis here, the product will not be allowed to go. The Standards Organization of Nigeria has invested millions of Naira on human and infrastructural development and will continue to improve on its capacity to establish the tensile strength, hardness, v not chappy, bend and rebend, spectral analysis and impact test of a steel bar. As a consumer, if you go to buy from a distributor, request for the new certificate of that particular batch. If they don't have the meal certificate of that particular batch you are buying from, don't buy. There is nothing to confirm to you that that steel bar you are buying is of good quality. The primary thing, that first time, I will tell you that this steel bar is good, is the meal certificate they present to you. If you buy a substandard steel bar, bring it to SON with your formal letter of complaint and the receipt of purchase and we will take it off from there. As part of a strategic sensitization, SON has embarked on a stakeholder's product quality education across the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria, as explained by the Chairman, Special Task Force on Steel, Engineer Enebi Onucheo. We have told people, if you are confused, you are not sure of what to buy, where to buy, contact us. That has been part of our campaign. This 10 mm steel bar has undergone all the parameter tests to make it a quality product. It's a life and energy product and its quality must never be compromised. So, whenever you go to the market, watch out for the inscription on the bar that is the name of the company, the batch number of the product and the date and year of production. When you're not satisfied, please visit any of the SON offices nearest to you to check if the product is registered. Do not purchase any product that is not registered with the standards organization of Nigeria. My name now Mr. Shortcut. I demand my money. Now cheap cheap one I the buy. Now we take people for my yard. I cheap building material where we take build my office. I think say I deserve money. Office building collapse and fire burn my house. Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, turn ready for action and say enough of pain, loss and wastage. If you see product when no day correct, call the SON office when near you. SON, they say.
Standards Organization of Nigeria. Improving life through standards. We will continue to work with the police to tackle the menace of fake and substandard products in Nigeria. State coordinator of the Standards Organization of Nigeria in Kanu State, YB Mohamed, gave this assurance when he led some officials of the SON on a courtesy visit to the state's commissioner of police, Samaila Shwaibu Diko, in his office. He thanked the police for the support of the SON, especially on enforcement activities. The police commissioner assured his guests of the police support to the SON towards the realization of the agency's mandate. He described the SON as a critical government agency tasked with the responsibility of protecting consumers, adding that the police will continue to align with SON to promote standardization. In another development, officials of the SON in Abuja office met with officers of the Federal Road Safety Corps. The purpose of the visit was to explore areas of collaboration to promote standardization, safety and product quality. watching standard and you time now to join my colleague alimoto sifo to treat your messages ramadan mubarak to our muslim brothers and sisters i want a situation where in the future when you see a son person either in your market or in your shop or on the street you bring him close to you and say welcome well, come here mm -hmm. let's talk because it's your brother, it's your friend. But I cannot be your brother if you don't know I'm interested in protecting you. Like they say, Onye Wete, son, Motorando. Welcome to the world of standard and quality, where we offer you information on product safety and quality. The program is Standard and You. Choose type and leave. Buy original, be original. S O N. Mattress is one of the must-have properties in a house considering the fact that an average person sleeps for eight hours in a day. That's basically one-third of their lifetime. A welcoming mattress is usually the driver of a good sleep as it is intended to provide comfort to the sleeper. Guess what? You're right. I'll be sharing five standard tips on the mattress right after responding to your messages. My name is Halimot Osifo. Welcome. John Chimeodo from Asaba says, I love your informative and educative program on standard and you. Please, how can I identify fake electrical products? Thank you so much, John. Identifying fake electrical products may require certain laboratory tests and analysis. You are advised to buy electrical products which have been certified by the Standards Organization of Nigeria from reputable stores. Hassan from Gombe says, where is your office here in Gombe State? Thank you so much. SON Gombe State office is opposite Military Quarter Guard, BIU Road, Gombe. Barista Wale says, please, SON should publish the names of substandard generators in the market. Thank you so much. We'll take note of that. Chizoba Immaculate from Lagos says, What is Standard and You all about? Thank you, Chizoba. Standard and You is a public sensitization program sponsored by the Standards Organization of Nigeria to educate you on products you buy, sell, and consume with special focus on product quality and safety. Anthony from Cross River says, It's good to know you people exist. This is really helpful, and thanks for the information. Thank you so much, Anthony. It's nice to hear from you, and we hope to serve you better. Now to five standard tips on the mattress. <music> Buy brand new mattress certified by SON with labeling information on durability, density, size, weight, and type. Ensure your weight is suitable with your mattress and give it proper support for a good sleep. 
firm mattresses are recommended for stomach and some back sleepers, while soft mattresses are recommended for side sleepers. You can rotate or flip your mattresses to reduce excessive wear, resulting from sleeping in the same place and body position consistently. Always keep your mattress dry and change it when it's worn out to avoid body pains or discomfort while sleeping. There you have it, five standard tips on the mattress. And that's a wrap on this week's edition of your favorite public sensitization program, Standard and You. Do you have a question, complaint or suggestion? You can send in your messages with your full name and location to the number 0705972 Follow us on Facebook at Standard and You, Instagram and Twitter at Standard and You underscore. We have a vibrant YouTube channel where you can watch previous episodes online at youtube.com forward slash Standard and You. Don't just view, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, buy original, serve authentic, and use only the best. Why you they buy it? Yeah, that product, yeah. Make you day careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live.